Hi guys, Dave's here. Welcome back to my channel. This week, I want to talk about the bottle nose bits. Now, I've got three bottle nose bits for my CNC. I've got the quarter inch, got the eighth inch, and then I've got the 30 second tapered. Uh, I'll show you down where you would use them and uh, some examples here. I've got one example right here and I'll put a little stain on it, maybe it'll show up a little bit better. This one was done with a quarter inch, this one was done with eighth of an inch, and this one was done with the 30 second inch. I can show you what it looks like here. Okay, here they are. If you can see, I'll put some stain on here in just a minute. Now I'm not sanding or nothing, but you can see the quarter inch left some damn big marks around there. The eighth of an inch done a little bit better job, but you can still see some down here and everything. And here is the 32nd tapered. So let me put a little stain on this. Okay, here's the piece after I put some stain on it. And hopefully you can see it a little bit better. Now this is the one with the quarter inch ball nose. And so you can see the lines in there and everything. So, you know, you wouldn't want to use a quarter inch on something like this. Maybe for a roughing pass. Uh, here's the eighth inch. It looks a lot better. But you still got little places in there and everything. And here's the 30 second ball nose bit. I mean, you get more detail out of it than you do any of the others. Uh, you know, for small projects like this, especially if it's got a lot of detail, I'd recommend using the, the smaller the bit. Uh, here's, a, here's another example. Uh, I've done the Eagle, and this is on Pine, and I've done it with the 30 second bit. And here's the 3D horse head that I've done there, thing the same way. And I've done it with the 30 second bit. So, I mean, you know, if you got a lot of detail, you want to use the smaller bit. So when do you use the, the bigger ones? Well, the one quarter inch like this right here, they're good for making pockets in something. Just like these right here, I made pockets and all this, and I used a quarter inch for them. They, they work great for that. Uh, okay, also the one quarter inch ball nose bit Works great for um, things like this right here. And this is my big Zelda shield sign. And uh, in my video, this is one of the first things I'd done with a ball nose bit. And I used the quarter inch for the roughing and then used the one eighth of an inch to go over it for a little bit more detail. I probably could have done this one just with the quarter inch ball nose bit. This one was done with the quarter inch ball nose bit. This one here was done with the one eighth of an inch ball nose bit. And this one's done with the one thirty second tapered bit. Now the times that it took, um, it was 21 minutes for the quarter inch. It took 36 minutes for the eighth of an inch ball nose. And then it took 60 minutes for the 30 second. So remember, the smaller it is, the longer it takes to carve. Okay, Tiny, come on. And it's, and it's also a good idea, the big cutter here, you won't have to hog out with something else, um, but the smaller cutters, I would recommend using a roughing bit to take some of the material off before you do the final finish. I mean, you don't have to on everything, and my cat just won't stay away, come on, girl. <laughs> but, uh, you know, definitely for the 132nd bit, I would definitely do it on I did not do that on this, but you know, I could probably, if I'd uh, done a rough and cut, I probably could have sped the time up a little bit. So, and it depends on the material. This was oak, you know, pine, it, like it's over here, you could do it a lot faster. I hope this helps somebody when they're using the bottom of those bits. 
And as always, thanks for watching, guys.